This is the best loadout for the K1 Logistics Legendary Lost Sector. For our weapon loadout, we're going to use a Kinetic Sniper Rifle for the Barrier Champions. This Kinetic Sniper Rifle can be obtained from the Deepstone Crypt Raid, but you can also use the Long Shadow Sniper Rifle from Rank Up Packages with Banshee. And then we're going to use the Season of the Chosen's Exotic Bow, Taiku's Divination. We're going to use this for breaking Solar Shields as well as disrupting Overload Champions. And then for Boss and Champion DPS, we're going to use the Void Rocket Launcher Bad Omens that can be purchased purchase from the drifter in the tower. For armor mods, we're going to use Argent Ordinance. While charged with light, your rockets deal more damage at the cost of one charge with light stack. To get charged with light stacks, we're going to use Precision Charge. Rapidly getting precision kills with your bow will give you a charge with light stack. And then also on your boots, you're going to use Rocket Launcher Scavenger mods for more ammo. On your chest piece, you're going to use Stacks on Stacks. You'll get a free extra charge with light stack for every stack you generate with your bow kills. And then you're also going going to use void resistance mod since all incoming void damage in this lost sector is increased and then you're going to use melee damage resistance since most enemies in this lost sector are within close range on your gloves you're going to use anti-barrier sniper rifle and overload bow and then on your helmet you're going to use charged up which increases the total amount of charge with light stacks you can hold and then you're going to use rocket launcher ammo finder mods for more ammo here's the active modifiers for this lost sector shanks have solar shields all in Incoming void and aerial damage is increased, and then the void damage you deal and receive is increased by 50%. The first thing we're going to do is snipe the barrier servitor in the back. We want it to pop its barrier, and then we're going to break it. So we can get a free rocket off without it teleporting away. And then you're going to go straight down the middle to avoid the enemies on the left. And then these guys, you're just going to alternate between hip-fired shots to put projectiles on the enemies, and then aim down sight shots to detonate the projectiles. Once you've cleared away all of the enemies, we're going to take out the barrier servitor. We're just going to do the same thing as before. Snipe the barrier. And then when it pops the barrier, you break it, swap to rocket to kill, and then snipe it again if you didn't finish it with the rocket. For the overload champion, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a fully charged bow shot to disrupt it. Rocket, and then snipe. Now in this hallway here, we're going to want to get precision kills with the bow so we can stack up some charge with light for boss DPS. Then we're going to disrupt the champion, rocket, and then snipe. Go ahead and use these vandals here for more charge with light stacks. Here's the last champion, a barrier servitor. We're just going to do the same thing we've been doing with them. We're going to snipe it, break its barrier, swap to a rocket. And there we go. Now to DPS the boss, we just have to kill enough enemies for it to drop its shield. To go ahead and just alternate between hip fired shots and charged in shots. Once you killed enough enemies, go ahead and throw a Nova Bomb at the boss. It's going to teleport to the left side of the map. We're going to move to the right side to see if we can get a line of sight on the boss with rockets. If you can't get a line of sight on the boss from the front of the room, you just have to go over to the left, shoot a rocket. Shoot a second rocket, and then it's going to teleport to the other side of the map. One more rocket. And then there you go. That's how you easily solo the legendary Lost Sector K1 Logistics on Warlock. This is the best loadout for the K1 Logistics Legendary Lost Sector. For our weapon loadout, we're going to use a Kinetic Sniper Rifle for the Barrier Champions. This Kinetic Sniper Rifle can be obtained from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. 
but you can also use the Long Shadow Sniper Rifle from Rank Up Packages with Banshee. We're going to use the Season of the Chosen's Exotic Bow for Solar Shields and Disrupting Overload Champions. And then we're going to use the Void Rocket Launcher Bad Omens for Boss and Champion DPS, since all Void damage in this Lost Sector is increased by 50%. And you can get this rocket launcher from the Drifter in the tower. For armor mods, we're going to use Argent Ordnance. While charged with light, your rockets deal more damage at the cost of one charged with light stack. To get charged with light stacks, we're going to use Precision Charge. Rapid Precision Kills with bows will get you a charged with light stack. And then we're also going to use Rocket Launcher Scavenger mods on our boots for more ammo. And then on our chest piece, we're going to use Stacks on Stacks, which gives a free extra charged with light stack for every stack you get with your bow kills. And then Melee Damage Resistance, since most enemies in this Lost Sector are within close range and then you're also going to want to use void resistance since all incoming void damage in this lost sector is increased on your gloves you're going to use anti-barrier sniper rifle and overload bow and then on your helmet you're going to use charge up which increases the total amount of charge with light stacks you can hold and then rocket launcher ammo finder for more ammo here's the active modifiers shanks have solar shields incoming void and aerial damage is increased and then the void damage you deal and receive is also increased by 50%. The first thing we're going to do is snipe the barrier servitor in the back. We want it to pop its barrier. And then we break the barrier so that way it's not going to move when we shoot a rocket at it. And there you go. Easy kill on the first champion. Then you're going to go straight down the middle to avoid the enemies on the left. And then you're going to alternate between hip fired shots and then fully charged in shots with the bow. This way you put projectiles on the enemies with the hip fired shots and then you detonate those projectiles with the charged in shots. Then we're just going to clear away all these enemies before we take out the barrier servitor. Once you've killed the enemies, we're going to take out this servitor the same way as before. We're going to snipe it. And then when it pops its barrier, you're going to break it. Swap to rocket. And then snipe it again if you didn't finish it with the rocket. For the overload champion, we're just going to disrupt it. Shoot a rocket. And then snipe to kill. Now in this hallway here, we want to get precision kills with the bow so we can stack up some charge with light for boss DPS. And then for the champion, we're going to just disrupt it, shoot a rocket, and then snipe to kill. You can use these vandals right here for more charge with light stacks if you need. And then here we have the last champion in this lost sector, a barrier servitor. We're just going to do the same thing we've been doing. Snipe it to get the barrier to pop. Break the barrier, swap to rocket, and kill it. The boss has immunity around it, so we're just going to kill enough enemies for that to go away. Just hang out here in the back where it's nice and safe. Then once you've killed enough enemies, you can finally damage the boss. We're going to pop a bubble. Shoot a rocket. Shoot a second rocket, and then the boss is going to teleport to the left. Now we're just going to clear away some enemies so we can get a line of sight on the boss. We have a bit of a line of sight there, so we're going to shoot another rocket. And then it teleports to the right when you've done enough damage. We're going to send another rocket there, and then this one will finish it. There we go. That's how you easily solo the K1 Logistics Legendary Lost Sector on Titan.
This is the best loadout for the K1 Logistics Legendary Lost Sector on Hunter. In this Lost Sector, there's a couple Barrier Servitors and a couple Overload Champions. So we're going to use a Kinetic Sniper Rifle for the Barrier Servitor. This Kinetic Sniper Rifle can be obtained from the Deep Stone Crypt Raid. You can also use the Long Shadow Sniper Rifle from Rank Up Packages with Banshee. For the Solar Shielded Enemies and the Overload Champions in this Lost Sector, we're going to use the Taiku's Divination, this season's Exotic Bow. And for Boss and Champion DP, we're going to use the Void Rocket Launcher Bad Omens that you can purchase from the Drifter in the Tower. For our armor mods, we're going to use Argent Ordinance. While charged with light, your rockets do more damage at the cost of one charge with light stack. Rapid Precision Kills with your bow will get you a charge with light stack. And then on our boots, we're also going to use Rocket Launcher Scavenger mods for more ammo. On our chest piece, we're going to use Stacks on Stacks. You get a free extra charge with light stack for every stack you get with your bow kills. And then we're also going to use Void resistance since all incoming void damage in this lost sector is increased by 50% and then melee damage resistance since most enemies in this lost sector are within close range. On our gloves we're going to use overload bow and anti-barrier sniper rifle and then on our helmet we're going to use charged up which increases the total amount of charge with light stacks you can hold and then rocket launcher ammo finder mods for more ammo. Here's the active modifiers. Shanks have solar shields Incoming void and aerial damage is increased in this lost sector, and then the void damage you deal and receive is also increased by 50%. The first thing we're going to do is snipe the servitor in the back here so it pops its barrier. And then you break the barrier so that way it does not move when you shoot a rocket, and it should be an easy kill. And then we're going to go down the middle here to avoid the enemies on the left. Alternate between hip-fired shots and Aim down sight shots with your bow. Your hit fired shots will put projectiles on the enemies. And then the aim down sight shot will explode the projectiles. And then for the captain, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to put projectiles on it. Detonate the projectiles to speed up breaking the arc shield on it. And then once it's broken, just go ahead and snipe it. Same thing for the Vandals here. Alternate between hit fired shots and aim down sight shots. And we're just going to kill all the shanks here. Get the enemies in the back if you can, and then we want to take out the barrier servitor. Alright, we're going to do the same thing with this servitor as the first one. We're going to snipe it so we can break its barrier. Swap to rocket. And then the easy kill. Alright, now we're going to disrupt the champion. Shoot a rocket. Two sniper shots. And finish for the kill. And then in this hallway, we're going to focus on getting crit kills here so we can get charged with light stacks. We want to save these charged with light stacks for boss DPS. There we go. There's two. There's three. And now we'll rock it. And snipe. Let's get a couple more Arch with Light stacks here. There we go. Now here's the last champion. We're going to have a Barrier Servitor here. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to snipe it. Break the barrier. Swap to Rocket. And then you're just going to kill all the enemies that you can that spawn. Once you kill enough enemies, the boss's shield will go down. Enemies have been killed so we can damage the boss. We're gonna get some health back. Pop golden gun. Right in the middle there. If you do enough damage like that, the boss teleports to the left. Now we're gonna clear away these enemies here on the left so we can get a clean shot on the boss. Once you've got a clear line of sight on the boss, go ahead and shoot a rocket at it. A second rocket will make it teleport to the right side. 
and then just snipe to finish. And that's how you easily solo the K1 Logistics Legendary Law Sector. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I